It's a marquee matchup as number three USC travels to Columbus, Ohio to meet eighth ranked Ohio State. Last season, the Buckeyes met the Trojans in Los Angeles where they were routed 35-3. USC comes into the rematch fresh off a 56-3 pounding of San Jose State. The Trojans had six rushing touchdowns in that blowout win, and freshman quarterback Matt Barkley was solid, completing 15 of 19 passes for 233 yards and a touchdown. He played well in that game. They got him some confidence, uh, mostly by running the ball very well, though he threw the ball well. Uh, against a team that they should beat. They ran up a big score and got Barkley's feet wet in major college football, though it'll be a huge difference this week in front of 102,000 people at the Horseshoe against a top 10 team. Ohio State also won its opener, but struggled at home to beat Navy 31-27. The Buckeyes might have been looking past the midshipmen somewhat towards the marquee matchup with USC. You have to also wonder how much during the lead up to the regular season was Ohio State spending time preparing for Navy and preparing for USC. Knowing that, well, we have an advantage over Navy, I wouldn't be shocked if they spent at least a few days in the offseason preparing for USC. Will the Buckeyes be thinking payback when they meet SC? Russo said this year's Buckeyes likely won't be thinking about that loss unless the Trojans start to pull away early. I doubt last year's game plays into this year's game all that much unless USC jumps out to a quick lead early. Uh, if it's 14 nothing, 17 nothing in the first quarter, maybe the Buckeyes find themselves thinking, here we go again. And maybe USC finds himself thinking, oh, we got these guys. For Ohio State to win, Russo said sophomore quarterback Terrell Pryor must make some big plays. The 6'6 Pryor was Big Ten Freshman of the Year last year. The key for USC is its big offensive line, anchored by an All-American caliber center, Chris O'Dowd, who stands 6'5", 300 pounds. Ohio State could be in for a long day if O'Dowd and company dominate the line of scrimmage, clearing the way for a talented group of running backs who ran over San Jose. State. Dave Lebeski, The Associated Press.